Hey there, it's Bronwyn Olschlager. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing something different for the next, I don't know how long, but I'm going to dig into this really cool thing and help you understand what I understand. And I'm going to use some resources to help you with this, to help you understand your unique human design and especially your inner authority, but also just to know and like when to take action and how you're designed to take action in this world so that you don't throw chaos out there and this will help you attract your soul client in such an easier way. Before we do this, I am going to tell you who I am if you're here for the first time. My name is Bronwyn. I am an emotional breakthrough mentor and intuitive emotional breakthrough mentor and small business clarity coach. You can call me a monetization coach too. Um, together, we drill down on your emotional needs and business needs and get clear on how you want to run your God-inspired part-time coaching or healing business. Um, most of the people that come my way aren't interested in being a bajillionaire. They're usually a mom. They feel called by God. They usually have kids, and this is a part-time gig, but they're committed, and every time they try to run away, God brings them back to it. So that's why you found me, because that's what we're doing together, and I'm not going to push you too hard. So let's talk about what I do. I have three steps. We start from within and that's step one because clarity, knowing who you are, loving yourself, all those important things, getting, getting, you know, cultural conditioning and misconceptions out of your system. Like you're not allowed to charge money for this and that kind of thing. Um, and also misconceptions about charging too much. Um, there are a lot of coaches out there that say, if you don't charge enough, then you don't value yourself. But guess what? I disagree. I think that you will know what your price should be intuitively, which is why we're talking about this and why I'm going into how you receive answers and that kind of thing, because it's really important that you feel confident that you're getting an answer. So when you come across somebody that tells you how it is like that, you can say, mm, maybe that's how it is for you, but not for me. So clarity breeds confidence. And then step two is to systematize wisely. And this is where we set our business up to sell our skills. And this order breeds confidence, okay? And then step three, we talk about marketing and collaboration. This is where we set ourselves up to give our gifts very boldly out there so that our soul clients can find us and we do it in the way that feels best to us. And support, I believe in collaboration. If collaboration works for you, you're gonna really find this. There's gonna be a lot of that. Um, for me on this channel, I collaborate. I don't like to do things alone and I find that many hands make light work. So I have a collaboration that I usually invite my students into once they hit certain milestones. And support, again, breeds confidence. So let's go ahead and dig into this. On this channel until further notice, we're going to spend some time discussing what I've experienced and learned about the design of human beings and what inner authority and strategy is for you and how it impacts your clarity and success in as you monetize, excuse me, that's a typo, as you monetize your message. So let's talk about human design because all of this probably doesn't really make a lot of sense to you right now, but human design is... Um, it's how your atomic energy was pulled together and designed. It's your, um, it's the things that are second nature to you versus the things that you kind of have to work to, to accomplish and to do. And that even isn't the best. <laughs> it's, it's basically how you were pulled together by the push and pull of the physical universe. So how I see it is, um, the, the universe, this is how I see the universe. The universe was designed by God. It's the thing that is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It is the thing that makes it so he doesn't have to micromanage his children. And so here we have this physical universe. We have the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, and all of this physical universe pushes and pulls on the earth. And that's a fact. It just does, right? We have Everything in the ether is just pulling and there's all this magnetic um, push and pull and there's magnetism energy and it's all atomic on the at the, its base and it's just the coolest thing ever. And just like the moon being full can send a lot of pregnant women into labor, the stars, planets, moon, and sun push and pull on the earth. Sorry about that typo. The place that, you know, so the place on the planet where you were born, if you look at all of that and consider it, 
the place you were born on the planet and the time you were born on the planet is going to be impacted by all of this atomic energetic push and pull. And that's effectively what human design is. It's how your energy was collected together because we're all just atomic energy. It's how your atomic energy that makes you was collected together so that you have strengths and that are second nature to you. We're always looking out of our own eyes so we don't realize how cool we are, right? So you have strengths that are second nature to you and then you have other things that you have to be more aware of so that you can do. And everybody is so capable and everybody has these beautiful strengths and that's what human design is really all about is super validating so I'm not going to go into the history of human design I I'm going to introduce you to somebody that you can learn that from but why know your human design so in my experience knowing my human design didn't tell me how to be it validated what I already knew about me and it helped me to accept my beautiful design and I'm going to show you because I'm going to use myself First, I'm going to show you about me to kind of give you an idea of what human design is um, because I know my design best, but I understand, I understand my clients who have um, different strategies and different inner authority than mine. And so we are going to do a lot of videos because I want to cover all of those things. And I'm going to bring in um, resources to help. Like I, I'm not the expert. I'm not a human design coach, but I have one and she's my friend. And she told me that I could use some of her video clips. So I'm going to do that to help you learn this. So again, just super validating. I'm not putting you in a box. Human design is so far from being in a box. Everything it's when you see it, you're going to go. Yep. Yep. And then when I looked at everything, it was like, Oh, I, I thought I was doing that wrong, but I guess that's part of just who I am. Okay, and as soon as I got that that stuff out of the way, those cobwebs, I, I started being able to use it to benefit people and to benefit myself. So here are the different human design types. It's generator, manifesting generator, manifester, projector, again, that's what I am, and reflector. I have met one reflector, and I've coached all of these other types. So... Um, you know, I know how different everybody is and it's, it's important that you understand how you work. I can't say that enough. It's so, so validating. So we're going to talk about projector today because that's me and I'm going to use me as the guinea pig to just open the door to this series of videos that we're going to do. Um, and my friend Natalie, she talks about this. She says, projectors are here to be the wise sages. We're here to be the guides. So before I really go any further, I want to take you over to see how to get your human design chart and what a human design chart looks like. So if you go over to jovianarchive.com, this is all about human design. I think this is the main human design website. Um, you can look at everything. Um, this is what a chart looks like. It's really hard to read by yourself. That's why you'll probably need some help from, well, you definitely will need some help from somebody who knows how to read that chart. Um, and you, this is what your chart will look like when you get it. So you can click here and you just fill in these. Your name, that's just for identifying whose chart it is. That's not a big deal. You don't need a maiden name or anything. What really matters is where you were and the day you were there and the time of day that you were there, okay, in the country. And that all the rest of this information is really important. So go and grab that. Um, if you want to talk with me personally, we can do a private consultation and I will help you get it and kind of talk to you about your inner authority and your um, strategy a little bit. Those are the things I know how to talk to you about. And if you want more, I will introduce you to Natalie who can help you with really digging in to read your chart. But this is what you need. Okay, I like to use this website called mybodygraph.com. Um, you can come in here and just put that same information into this and it'll be saved in my bodygraph.com so that you can come back and see it. You can put your kids information in here, your spouse's information, your friends, your clients. This way you can always remind yourself what their design is so that you can honor them and not expect them to be something other than what they are designed to be. So this is mine. So I am a projector and my strategy you can see over here is to wait for the invitation 
And when I'm not myself, I get bitter. So when I'm not being myself, I get bitter. What that means is when I get triggered and I'm, and I'm finding something that's, that some cobweb that's in me, that's getting in my way, bitterness is how that shows up. If I'm not forgiving somebody, bitterness is how that shows up. Some people, it, this says anger. And for some people, this says um, frustration, that kind of thing. So for me, it's bitterness. And so if you see me being bitter, you can know that I'm having a struggle with a trigger and I probably need to be just loved on and supported so I can get through it. My signature, this is, this is what makes me feel happy, is to help success. I want my success, but your success feels like my success. So this is really important piece that I always knew that, but it just made it made sense. Like I just embraced it once I saw that I'm like, Oh, well, great. I like helping people find their success. Let's make it easier. Let's do it a lot. Cause I like that. That feels good. Um, I couldn't tell you what single definition is because that is not my area of expertise, but I know Natalie could. And my inner authority is splenic. I was gonna go back, I was gonna go in and try to explain some of my chart too, but I realized that I'm really not a, an expert at reading these charts, but I do want you to see what it looks like. And if you're in Talking Body Graph or mybodygraph.com, you can click on some of these things and kind of, kind of have some new questions to ask, okay? All right, so that is my design and that's what that body graph looks like that's what the chart looks like okay so we wait for the invitation and okay I would like to show you a video clip of Natalie talking about a projector and the projector inner authority I think it will help kind of give you some new questions to ask and help you to, you know, maybe you'll identify with some of it if you're a projector. So make sure you go and get your human design so you know if you wanna keep listening to the projector stuff. Or Natalie talks about if you have a projector in your family or in your life that you spend a lot of time with, understanding them better is gonna be really important too. So let's go ahead and listen. Projectors are here to be the wise sages. We're here to be the guides. And so that means guides hold a lot of information in their system. And the thing with projectors is that you want to be seen and heard and understood and recognized. And so for projectors, you're here to recognize the other and in return, you'll get recognized. As projectors, so your aura, if we turn you to the side, the aura itself like comes in this cone shape. So it's round and then it, it comes into this cone and it's designed to actually penetrate through the other and into their G center, into their heart of hearts, the seat of their soul. And for some people, this can feel amazing. For other people, it's gonna feel really uncomfortable. So you got to really make sure as a projector that you're invited into their most personal and personal space thing to seeing if there's an invitation to guide somebody else. And if there's not, and if there's not, it's okay. Don't waste your breath on the people who do not want to be guided from you. This is what an invitation is all about, is actually seeing the other person. And if they see you in return, there is an invitation there and you can explore what that invitation would be. And a lot of times it's really good to start with questions because projectors are designed to ask really good questions. They can be really profound, really deep, and really fast <laughs> uh, is actually the issue. And so because projectors can go so deep so quickly, it can be unnerving for the other person. And they may not be ready to hear what it is that you have to say. Because here's the thing, projectors are here to guide the other energy types to make sure that they're, they're using their energy correctly. The, the other types may need, or the other person that you're trying to help projector may not be ready to have that guidance and have that wisdom. They may need to wrap up some other things over here before they're actually ready to be like, okay, now I'm ready to hear what it is that you have to say so I can go off in this direction. Um, my, my husband calls it closing the loops. So they may have like a bazillion loops open. They may need to close some of those before they're ready to move forward in the direction that you can 
expertly guide them in. So with that, expertly guide them, you're here as a projector to master systems. And when you master systems, your recognition is inevitable. Like your success with the recognition is inevitable. And so the thing for you while you're waiting for those invitations to happen is to do what you love. Yeah, you are free to do what you love. There's nothing for you to work on. There's nothing for you to, to do in a sense, but to do what you love. And because projectors are also here to help others not only find easier ways and more efficient ways to do things, but also remind people how to have fun. But if so, it's really important for the projector to figure out what brings them joy, what is fun for them. All right, so let's just talk about my experience with this. I'm just going to give you a couple little bullet points to help you understand. This was a little bit tricky, and I'm really glad that I had Natalie to help me figure this out because without her I would be completely lost on this and I have learned to accept myself better over the last year and a half since I've been studying this than ever before in my life and I had to try really hard before so here's here's what <laughs> what I really first experienced was it was hard because I was raised to be an initiator I was told by people that if I didn't initiate then I was going to be unsuccessful that I was basically not good enough, you know? And so when I heard that I'm waiting for the invitation, I had to really learn what that means and learn and retrain myself to be okay with that natural thing that I already wanted to do and I already knew about myself. All the sales training I had said I had to go first. I had to be the first one to jump up and grab that dollar that my coach was holding over his head. And if I was first, then I was good enough. Now, I grabbed that dollar because he invited us. <laughs> and I was first. But I was invited. Okay. But we're just told that we have to be like yucky, pushy salespeople, right? Blech. And I never felt good about that. And so I developed my own sales training. So I didn't have to be that way. And I didn't have to teach anybody to be that way. Um, so it always came really natural for me to wait to be asked. That feels good when I'm at, um, when I'm in a crowd. Um, sometimes it's my intuition. Sometimes it's my inner authority that invites me. Um, that's really nice that I have that connection and I know when it happens. But if I'm at a seminar or something and everybody's raising their hand, I never do. <laughs> if they came straight up to me and asked me what I thought, then I would. But... I just never feel like it's the thing and waiting to be invited feels really good to me. Um, it feels, feels natural, feels like how I'm designed. So if you're a projector, it's okay. You are good enough and you will attract the people that need you. In fact, they'll be magneted to you in ways that you might not believe right now. Okay. So next time we're going to talk about manifesting generator. Um, and the manifesting generator um, strategy. Okay, we're gonna talk about inner authority as we go, so be patient and stick around. Um, but if you're a manifesting generator, you're next. And if you have a manifesting generator in your life, you'll want to come and watch, okay? Okay, this is how to get in the focus seat. Um, the focus seat is like the hot seat. It's where I'm able to give you my focus to see what's going on with you and if you raise your hand you can invite me to let you into that space where I can really focus on you and we can get your need met in this group setting and we can do it in group setting or in a private session. First you can join our system wisdom community and come to our member events throughout the month and that is $25 a month. We do um, online events for an hour several times a month and if that isn't, if, you know, raising your hand in front of the rest of the crowd isn't really your cup of tea, that might mean you're a projector, but you might want a little bit more of a private session. That's okay. I do have private discounted sessions, and you can get a focus session that way. You can go to giveyourgiftsselyourskills.com to find all of that, and I will see you next time. We'll see ya.